and welcome. My name is Allison, and I'm one of the co-directors of Big Sky Music Civic. Today's music cast features pianist Anna Betka performing two of Mozart's most important works for piano, his C minor Fantasia and Sonata, also in the key of C minor. This concert was recorded in celebration of his 265th birthday, which was on January 27th of 1759. We are so pleased to have Anna Betka with us for this special program. For more information about events like these and to support chamber music in Northwest Montana through a tax deductible donation, please visit musicivic.net slash big sky. We hope you enjoy this concert and that you join us for more in the future. Thank you. Hello and welcome. My name is Anna Betka and I'm a pianist, vocal coach and writer. This year, on January 27th, is Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart's 265th birthday. To celebrate, I'm going to share with you his Fantasia Kuchel 475 and his Sonata Kuchel 457, both in the dramatic key of C minor. These two works were published as a set in 1785. Although composed half a year later, the Fantasia was intentionally published along with the sonata. It is the only one of Mozart's piano sonatas to be published together with a work of a different genre. In addition, the structure of both pieces is vastly contrasting. On the one hand, the sonata. Uh, clear form, very structured, three movements, epitome of the classical style. On the other, the Fantasia, uh, free, influenced by improvisation, inspired by the Fantasias of earlier centuries, the form of which was often so loose they omitted bar lines. Having moved to Vienna in 1781, Mozart was having a tremendously prolific and busy year in 1785, both professionally and personally. In January, Mozart received news that his newest opera, Le Nozze di Figaro, had been banned from being performed in Vienna due to being censored by the emperor. Tells you a bit about the political climate of the time. In February, his father Leopold arrived at his son's apartment for a lengthy two and a half month visit, which I'm sure Mozart was thrilled about. <laughs> Upon walking through the door, Leopold was greeted by copyists who were quickly preparing orchestra parts that would have to be sight read for a concert that same night. The following day, Haydn paid a visit to Mozart, no big deal, and the two of them and Leopold read through some string quartets that Wolfgang wanted to dedicate to his admired peer. As the weeks went by, Leopold began to get tired of the hustle and bustle and complained in a letter to his daughter. He wrote, We never get to bed before one o'clock and I never get up before nine. We lunch at two or half past. The weather is horrible. Every day there are concerts, and the whole time is given up to teaching, music, composing, and so forth. <laughs> I feel rather out of it all. If only the concerts were over, it is impossible for me to describe the rush and bustle. <laughs> well, if only we could complain about having concerts every day, especially this past year. But, just like Leopold, we too took live performance for granted before the COVID-19 pandemic. I am excited to share these beautiful works with you today as we continue to renew our sense of togetherness during this time. Music happens to be one way to do that. Stay well, stay safe, stay healthy, and hope you enjoy. Also, happy birthday, Mozart.